So what we want to be able to do is to differentiate with parametric equations. We want to be able to find the gradient of a, parametric, of a curve given by a pair of parametric equations. We want to be able to find the equation of a tangent or the equation of a normal to a parametric curve, etc. Okay? So all the stuff that we've been able to do with Cartesian equations, we want to be able to do with parametric ones as well. However, um, as the name of this video suggests, the title, um, what I'm going to do here is show you the long-winded way of uh, f doing parametric differentiation that is really not the right way of going about it, okay? Because what we've looked at before is we've said to ourselves that although for some cases that we've looked at, um, you can go from a pair of parametric equations like these to a Cartesian equation, we know that you can't always do that, okay? It's not always possible. So the way that I'm going to show you how to do this first is not a way that in general will work because where I'm going to show you how to go from the, this to the Cartesian equation and then we're going to differentiate it, okay, and then get it back in terms of t. This isn't the way to go about it in general, okay, so hopefully I've highlighted that enough. But what I want to do is do this video bit first so you can see how we can get an answer this way and then you can compare it to the next video where we're going to do it properly, okay? And you should see that they are the same, that they work in the same way, okay? So it kind of uh, reinforces that what I show you in the next video is correct, effectively. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from these two parametric equations to a Cartesian equation, okay? That's the first step. So I'm going to rewrite y equals 2t in terms of t. So t is equal to y over 2. Okay. So then I can substitute that into the first equation and write that as x is equal to y over 2 squared. So a quarter y squared. Okay. So these parametric equations uh, and this Cartesian equation should be the same curve. Now... In order to find dy by dx to differentiate this, I need to use implicit differentiation. So I need to differentiate both sides of the equation. So I'm going to differentiate the left-hand side, and I'm going to differentiate the right-hand side. So the derivative of the left-hand side is just 1. The derivative of the right-hand side, the 2 comes down to the front, multiplies with the quarter, so we've got a half, y, and then because we're differentiating with respect to x, we get this dy by dx. And then what I can do is I can multiply both sides by 2 and divide both sides by y, so dy by dx is 2 over y. And then I could put that back in terms of t, because y is equal to 2t, so this is 2 over 2t. The 2s can cancel, and so you can write that as 1 over t. So dy by dx is 1 over t, okay? And as I said, although this gets me the correct answer, in general, you can't do this process here. And so from now on, what we're going to be doing is missing out this process and we're going to introduce how to use the chain rule and we're going to do that in the next video.